Testes of tick, whose bite makes the victim essentially allergic to meat. Hot dogs, hamburgers, forget about it because your body will reject them. Your throat might swell up. You could break out in hives. This tick is found right here in Florida. And our John Thomas found a Bay Area man who knows about them all too well. We got cheese, eggs, we got some milk, some rice. One thing you will not find in Daniel Marcantonio's fridge is meat. No beef hot dogs, no T-bones, and... I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss bacon. Miss bacon because at one time Daniel's fridge did contain bacon and all the other wonders of the meat counter until he encountered this guy, the Lone Star Tick. Throat closes up and, uh... You know, I get hives everywhere. The Lone Star Tick, named because of the lone mark on its back. Just one tick bite has left Daniel seriously allergic to meat for the last eight years. It's so bad. I had to go in the ambulance, go over to the hospital, and, uh, you know, to get a Benadryl shot and epinephrine. Hard to believe? Well, stop the barbecue, because according to Dr. James Orlowski at Florida Hospital... Allergists and immunologists in the country are saying they're seeing a skyrocketing of the number of cases of this. And this is where the vast majority of the cases are, in the southeastern United States. But take note, Dr. Orlowski says not everyone has such a severe reaction as Daniel. And initial indications are it may not be permanent. It's an inconvenience more than anything else. So far, it doesn't appear to be deadly. But then again, there is always a first time. And so as far as Daniel's concerned... Yeah. not have. Hamburger, steak, bacon, everything. I mean, you just kind of, it's I life. I cried. You know, it's life. Maybe it'll <laughs> work its way out. John Thomas, ABC Action News.